Hi! The first thing to do is to go to a directory where you want to create your new Rails app. So we'll go into desktop and we'll type in Rails new and then whatever we want to call it. So say we call it my project. So right now all of these files are being generated for us. And what we want to do is to open them. They'll be done in a second. Okay. So if we go to desktop, my project, and open that, now we can see all of these different files that have been generated. If we want to see what our app looks like right now, type in Rails S. Oh, but first we have to go into the directory of my project. And then we'll just type in Rails S. This is what it looks like. Now we need to make a controller. So we're going to say Rails generate controller and whatever we want to call it, say welcome, and then what we want the action to be. So we'll call it homepage. Um, this is going to create a view for us and an HTML page where we can put the HTML for our homepage. So if we go into Views, Welcome, here's our home page. And notice that we have a new controller too. Now go into config, routes.rb, and then let's uncomment this line and replace it with home page right here. What this is going to do is make our app go to our home page right when we launch it. So now if we type in Rails S and we refresh this page, we have our home page right there. But let's say we want to make this more pretty. One thing we can do is use a pre-made template. So here's a page where there's lots of free templates for us to choose from. Let's say we are going to choose this one. So click download. Here are the files for my project. And here are the files for the project that we just downloaded from the template. We want to copy over a lot of these different files into our project. So the first thing we'll want to do is to go into Style Sheets. And let's get their Style Sheets and we'll put them in here. The path is just App, Assets, Style Sheets. We're also going to go into JavaScripts and Images. the images right here okay and finally we want the HTML for now we're gonna have to go back and also get the fonts but let's just work on this step so I just copy that I copied that and now we're pasting it here and there's some more things we have to fix, but let's just see what it looks like right now. Okay, good. So this is our portfolio um, or project page, uh, whatever we want to call it. Um, and you can see that the nav bar is working and there's some nice stuff going on. But we need to fix this. We have missing images here and we've missing fonts, so let's fix that. Okay. So what we have to do is go into homepage.html.erb and look for places where the image is given a path, um, or the, a, a path is given to get the image. So let's see. Here they are. So source equals image. We want to change this to assets instead. Okay, so when you're done replacing all of the uh, paths with assets instead of images, save it and then 
refresh this page. Oops, we have to make sure our server is running right here. So do Rails S and refresh. Okay, and there we go. We can see a lot of the different images are showing up. have a missing background image. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Hmm. So I'm not sure why the background image isn't showing up, but one thing that we can do is we can go in here and we can copy this name and then we can search for it. So this is just going to recursively search through all of the files and let us know where this name shows up. Okay, so we don't want to look in here, we don't want to look in there. Oh, but look, it does show up right here. So if we look inside of our style sheets slash agency dot CSS, and then we can search for that we see that it's image slash header but we don't want image we want assets so let's save that and make sure that our server is running okay there we go and so that fixed it so all we had to do was to go into the CSS and make sure that assets was also replaced um, we put assets there and replaced it with from the image. Okay, so this is looking good, and we can test the nav, nav bar, so this means that the JavaScript is being used. And now the next thing we have to do is fix this, so we don't have the, these fonts working right here. So we didn't start that step yet, so we'll go in here, and we have to be really careful about doing this step the right way. There's a really nice post on Stack Overflow on how to use Font Awesome inside of a Rails application. And so this one, is, this has good directions. So the first step to do is to copy this and go into config. And I'll put a link to that, to that Stack Overflow post too in the comments section um, or whatever it's called by the end of the video. So the first step to do is to go into config slash application, and we're just going to copy this right here and put it right here. Okay, save it. And we also want to create a fonts um, folder inside of our application. Okay, and then we'll take these font awesome fonts right here. And we want to put these inside of these. Okay, there we go. Inside of fonts. And then we also want the CSS. So we're going to copy the CSS and put it into our style sheets. Okay. We want to rename the CSS from this to this. So let's copy that extension. Go into style sheets. Okay. And now we'll want to replace this with this. So we'll have to go into font awesome and replace this with that new new block of text. Okay. So that should work. Let's test it. So our server is already running, so that's good. Okay. Refresh. still don't see these images coming up. Okay, so then what we have to do is actually we need this to be fontawesome.css.erb. Um, it depends on which version of Rails you have. Um, yeah. So now we'll just refresh this page. And if we 
just scroll down, we will see that all of these links are working. And let's say we wanted to, let's say we want to make one of the links actually go to, to a particular site. So let's say if we just get linkedin.com and let's just pretend like this is your web page or some interesting page that you want to show for this link. So what we'll have to do is we go back into this home page and let's look for LinkedIn right here, okay? And just like that. And then if we refresh this, I don't actually know which person this is looking at, but uh, let's, let's, say, let's try one. Oh, there we go. And so then it worked. So all you have to do is just add it right there to this href. And that is how you make a very nice looking website very quickly. And here's the bottom, here's the message. Um, of course, there would be have to do more work on the back end to get this connected. But here's a good starting point. There you go.